have here today are cases for the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. Wanted to do a segment based on doing an Amazon search of iPhone 13 case. What would be shown in the first two pages of the search results? Surprisingly, the only name brand I saw was Spigen. The rest were off-brand and all under $20. Are there more name brand cases out there currently for the new iPhone 13? Absolutely. Why did Amazon, at least at the time I searched, have a limited selection? Perhaps they're still working out the contract to be able to sell a wider variety? Who knows? This actually worked out to our benefit though, because at the end of the day, most cases are going to be similar in quality to the name brands we spend 50 to 60% more on. OtterBox though does have a very good warranty I must say. For instance, if your case is damaged or lost, you can go online, no registration necessary, and as long as they have it in stock, pay shipping to get a replacement sent to you. Let's first discuss compatibility. John, I have an iPhone 12. Can I just keep my same case for my iPhone 13? Apple made the exterior camera lenses bigger, so unfortunately, if you have any of the 12s currently, such as Pro, Pro Max, Mini, regular, it's not forward compatible. For those that are not upgrading to the 13 and keeping their 12, you can, however, use an iPhone 13 case for your 12 as it is backwards compatible. One more spec to keep in mind is with the 12 and 12 Pro, you could use the same case. That's not the same for the 13 and the 13 Pro due to the enlarged camera bezel area on the 13 Pro. Keep that in mind when choosing a case as you'll want to choose one with the proper designation and fitment. Let's take a look at these cases. The first case is by Gavuin. So you can see there is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And that's interesting. Huh. Okay. Some sort of uh, maybe thing to put on the case, some sort of strap, I guess. So it's got a little button there and you've got some locking mechanisms. Looks like you push it, it goes down. Uh, pretty interesting. Okay. This is Magnolia. So you can see see-through case. It is for the 6.7 inch. So this is your iPhone 13 Pro Max. You'll see here at the bottom looks very similar. If you have the 12, even the 11 in some aspects, except this piece right here is going to be bigger. You have your volume up, your volume down. Buttons feel really good to the touch. Um, I know with some cases they're very hard to push. These are not. They're very soft. A pliable case. Um, you've got some bumper protection here. So on the sides or corners rather, um, it is thicker there. So you have your bumper protection. Uh, it is pliable. Mainly it's, it's going to be a vanity case, if you will, but it does have that bumper protection, which is nice. Um, this does have a protruding piece here because um, the iPhone 13 Pro Pro Max, even the, the regular and the mini, the lenses protrude out so much that they needed a good size bezel to when you lay the phone down, you're not necessarily on the actual camera bezel themselves. So all in all, a good case. I'll put some specs up so you can see it. I just did a, a screenshot of it so you can see kind of the details. It does come in other colors as well. And price-wise, it's it's priced really good. Um, of course, at the time that I screenshot of these, that was the price. And sometimes there's coupons and things that Amazon does. So all in all, a good case. Next, we have Spigen. So here is your Spigen. This is for the iPhone 6.7 as well. So this is going to be your 13 Pro Max 2021. You'll see that insignia there so this is a clear version your clear ones are very popular of course because you want to show off that nice color right so not as much of the bumper protection as the previous case which is interesting um it is a, a thicker it's not as pliable as the previous case buttons feel good Buttons are good. It does have that protruding 
bridge here to protect your camera bezels. Got a little piece of plastic there from the factory. You have your bottom area, your switch there for your do not disturb, silence, or vibrate, I should say. But yeah, good, good solid case. You're looking for that clear to show off that new Sierra blue color um, or that gold, which, you know, it's cool. You're going to see that gold on the sides. A lot of the cases, you're not going to see that side piece. Um, so you'll see that gold. You'll see that silver on the silver, or some would say white, because that silver foaming does kind of look white on the back. It's that matte finish. And you have your black, which then you have that graphite piece there. And the Sierra blue, it's, uh, I believe it's a steel color. So, yeah, a decent case, you know, for a clear version. Again, price point's really good. And, and it is Spigen, which has a really good name behind them. Um, I've used their cases in the past, never had an issue. Um, air cushion technology. So it's got that insignia right there, air cushion technology, and it's pointing to this piece there. So there is a little bit when you put your finger in, it's like a little uh, bubble, if you will, protruding out. Um, I guess that's how they do their corner support to where you almost have a, an air cushion using the terminology that they've used. So take a look at the info there on that case. Next case we have is the Red 2 Fire Focus Quality Innovation, Dirt Proof, Shock Proof, Scratch Resistant, Military Standard Drop Protection. I didn't see actually, going back now. I don't see anything on the spy again that says anything about drop protection. And I don't see anything on the Javuin or Javuin case. So this one here, open this up. I'll go ahead and put the stats up on the screen so you can view this. So all in all, a decent case as well. Again, you know, really good price point. Really just brought up all the ones that came up initially, like I said, in the first two pages of doing a search and uh, really good pricing. All right, so you have a little installation manual on this one. And this is actually a full case. So you have that plastic piece there. That looks, I guess it's some sort of protection on the back. So it is clear. It is a full front protecting, back protecting case. Button feels good. The side ones here are a little bit tough for your volume up and volume down. You have a little cover here. Oh, and this is for the, um, the Pro. So you'll have 6.1 and you'll have 6.7. So a little bit of a a size variance there that you can see the difference. And that's diagonally. So from one corner bottom to top at 6.7. I'm not really a fan of the cases that have this front protection. And I'll tell you why. So Otterbox used to do this, right? And what we found is there would be so much dirt, debris, just mung, right? Underneath to where when you finally took the case off, it would be underneath there and that's not really going to be like a shadow resistant. Yes, your Pro and your Pro Max um, have that and, and the, the regulars will have that ceramic uh, special screen. Um, but I've always been a fan of that glass protection over the front of the phone. So what we've done in the past, even when OtterBox was doing it, um, I've been in the wireless industry for uh, over six years now, we would take that plastic piece out and we replace it with a glass. It was just a better experience for the client. Um, so ideally that's probably what I do in this situation, although I probably just wouldn't even get this case. It looks like you kind of pry it here. Okay, and then you get that piece open. And now start taking apart the case, which 
as you know, if you have these types of cases, they are not the funnest. All right, it wasn't too bad. So that's that's your front piece. You know, that's that's more your scratch resistant. You can put it in the pocket with your keys, your change, your key fob. It's it's not really going to scratch the phone. But at the end of the day, if this falls on concrete and it happens to hit something here, the screen of your phone most likely is going to be cracked, damaged. Um, so that's really not going to do anything. Um, on the back, it is a thicker piece of plastic, still kind of pliable there. Um, yeah, these buttons, I'm not a fan of these buttons. Um, you do have this piece here, which having one of these makes it nice with wireless charging because this is kind of a pain after a while. And oftentimes from doing this so much, it'll just break off. So you have your wipes to clean it. Um, yeah, so uh, this is the Red to Fire in pink. Um, as you saw from the screenshots, it does come in additional colors. Next case, Milo Madoi. I'm sure I'm pronouncing all of these wrong. This case here is for your regular 13. Now you'll see, I'll put these up together. I'm going to put the back of the 13 Pro. So a 13 Pro, regular 13. Look at that camera bezel. This is why you can no longer have your 13 Pro and she's a case from the 13 selection. With 12, you could. Exact same camera bezel area. You can go 12 Pro and regular 12 cases all day. So when you're picking out a case, make sure that you pick the correct designation for Pro or just regular 13. So you can do it this way too. And see the difference there. Your buttons are in the same location. Everything there is the same just that camera bezel piece. So this particular case here, um, interesting. So this, this piece here is, is very malleable. When you're pushing the button, it just seems to kind of, it doesn't feel like it's an actual button. It's just a, a piece of this. So although, you know, it, it is very, like I said, malleable, so I'm sure it'll work on the phone. Um, it is stronger up here, which is good. Strong there, it's not really, um, bending too much decent black case i mean for the price point that it is it's really not too bad i'll put that on the screen there so you can see and yeah so all in all a decent case so that should give us an idea of what we're looking at for cases um, if you like the channel and you haven't subscribed yet please do um, please like the video as well. And also, what are some things you look for in cases? Do you look for design, functionality? Do you look for protection, support? Um, do you look for vanity? Maybe you just want it to look nice. Do you have one case? Do you have multiple cases? Go ahead and throw some of that information down in the comments. Love to hear from you all. Also, what videos are you all looking for me to do? Um, I want to make sure I appeal to my viewers and do things that are relevant and things that you're looking forward to seeing me do, unbox, etc. Alright, appreciate you. Have a great day and take care.